In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up an e-commerce website that looks professional and it's going to take us about 10 or 15 minutes to do. That's it. Now, I don't cover everything. After watching my tutorial, you're still going to need to do a lot of work. You're going to need to set up PayPal and your shipping and get your products into your store and all that stuff. But I'm going to show you how to get all the basics that you need to have your e-commerce website up and running in about 10 or 15 minutes. I do recommend some tutorials at the end of this tutorial to do the rest of that stuff, to get your store all set up for yourself. You're going to need a couple things to have a good e-commerce website. You're going to need a web host and you're going to need a domain name. I cover both of those things in my series on how to make a professional website using WordPress. Check my channel. I think it's videos number one and number two in this series. When I made the video on getting a good web host, I didn't have a 30% discount. Now if you click my link in my description, you get a 30% discount off of hosting within Motion. I don't even get that. I'm paying full price. My first video that's pretty recent is how to make a professional website number one, get your domain name. This video is essential to watch. It shows you pitfalls to watch out for when getting a domain name and it shows you how to get a domain name with free privacy protection. I can't tell you how important that is. Watch the video to see what I'm talking about. The second video you should watch is how to find good web hosting. You can sign up with any host you would like, but you really do need a host for an e-commerce website and I recommend InMotion Hosting. Also remember, 30% off and a free domain name if you click my link to sign up. Okay, the first thing you need to do is go ahead and log into cPanel. If you don't remember how to log into cPanel, um, or if you don't know what cPanel is, go back and watch my first, second, and third videos on finding web hosting and how to set up email and install WordPress. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna type in WordPress in the find box over here on the side. And here it is. And I'm gonna install WordPress. It's under top applications. I'm gonna install it in a subfolder on the website that we've been working on. I will click on install. Okay, after I clicked install, this screen came up. And you'll wanna choose your domain. You'll probably only have one. I have a bunch, so I chose niftywebsite.com because that's the website we've been working on. And I'm gonna call the new directory e-commerce. I'm not gonna worry about the rest of these settings right now because I can always change them later. I guess I could change the site name to Go ahead and change the admin email to whatever you would like it to be. For admin username, I'm just gonna put in admin, and for the admin password, I'm just gonna click this key and it will create a password for me. That's very random, and that is strong. And then I'm gonna go down here, and I'm gonna click install. Okay, cPanel is installing WordPress for me in my subdirectory called e-commerce. So my URL to get to this WordPress installation will be niftywebsite.com forward slash e-commerce. And the reason I'm putting this site in a subdirectory called e-commerce is because I don't want to give this site its own domain name. This is just a quick example to show you how to set up an e-commerce website. Now that WordPress is installed, let's log into our new site. Click here and then log in using your administrative username and the password that you just created. Now here we are on our new website. It's a brand new WordPress installation. Okay, I'm gonna dismiss this because it's just a bunch of welcome stuff. And by the time you've gotten this far in my tutorials, you know how to do all this. And then there are two things you need to make a quick and easy e-commerce website. So the two things you need are WooCommerce, it's a plugin, and then you need a Woo theme that works well with WooCommerce. So let's click on plugins over here. And then we'll click on add new. Then we'll do a quick search for WooCommerce. And then we'll click search plugins. Here is WooCommerce, it's the first one. We're gonna click install now and okay. And WordPress has successfully installed the plugin WooCommerce. And now we will click activate plugin. Here we go. Now. The second thing we need is a theme that works well with WooCommerce. So I went back to plugins, I went back to where we installed WooCommerce, and I'm going to click on details here. In the details about WooCommerce, if you scroll down a little bit, it tells you if you're looking for a tailored WordPress e-commerce theme specifically designed to be used with WooCommerce, be sure to browse the 
official WooCommerce themes. Also check out our free themes, Mistyle, Artificer, and WooTeak. Okay, these are all three free themes. You can choose from one of those three themes that you would like. They work well with WooCommerce. They are created by Woo Themes and they are free. Now, Woo Themes has a ton of premium themes you can also use and you may choose one of those. But for me, I like free stuff. I like to keep costs low and I want this to be a low cost e-commerce website. So I'm gonna choose one of these three themes. Okay, so I'm gonna click on WooCommerce themes here and go check these themes out. So here's the WooCommerce website. I'm gonna click on free right here and then click on search. And I'm going to look at these themes. Here's Mistyle, here's Artificer, and here's Wootique. Wootique, I think, is the simplest of the three themes. Look at the demo here. Here's what Wootique looks like. It's a nice, free, clean theme that's fairly simple to set up. And, and then there's Mistyle. Let's click on Demo here. Now Mistyle has this nice uh, banner up top, which is pretty big. I like big banners, though and it also has a nice clean look and then we have artificer i don't know if i said that right or not here's demo i kind of like the way artificer looks for a free theme i think it's kind of pretty i'm gonna go with artificer i don't know if it's the simplest to use i've never tried it but i like the way it looks so that's what i'm gonna use okay so let's go ahead back to our site and we're gonna go to appearance on the left and then themes and then we will go to install themes up above and then type in artificer here and search. Now it's not coming up. Not all themes are in the WordPress repository. So what we're going to need to do is download this theme from WooThemes. So we're going to go to free download here on the WooThemes page for artificer. Then before we can download it we see that we need to be registered and logged in to download it. So we have to um, sign up for an account with WooThemes. So let's go ahead and sign up for an account with WooThemes. Wow, my account, let's click my account at the top. And then we have to register for a free WooThemes account. So we will scroll down a little bit and sign up for a new account and register. Okay, so apparently I'm logged in now. I'm gonna go back to WooCommerce on the top. Then I'm gonna to scroll to Themes. Then I'm gonna click Free. Then I'm gonna click Search. Then I'm gonna click on Artificer. And then I'm gonna click on Free Download. And then I will click on Free Download again. And finally, I will get to download it. So I'm gonna download it to a place I can remember, like my desktop. Then I'm gonna go back to my WordPress site and I'm gonna I'm still on install themes here so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on upload and then I'm going to browse to my desktop and I'm gonna upload artificer artificer.zip now I'm gonna click install now and artificer is now installed so I'm going to now click activate artificer is now activated and I'm now gonna go look at my site and see what it looks like boom Here's my new e-commerce website. Obviously it's not set up yet, but we have done everything we need to do to now start customizing our theme and setting up all our options in WooCommerce. Let's go back to our dashboard. Let's go ahead and click install WooCommerce pages up here because it keeps telling me to do that. And now we're all done. WooCommerce 2.0, blah, blah, blah. Here's the deal. We are completely 100% set up with an e-commerce website here. We have WooCommerce, which will allow us to set up a payment system, shipping system, all this other stuff. We have our theme, and that will allow us to set up our products in a pretty way. We are basically set up for e-commerce. So now you're ready to start customizing all this and setting up your store. Awesome. E-commerce is not my forte. I have not set one of these up before, but there are a lot of people who have. There are some excellent tutorials on YouTube. This guy's channel is called Upload WP. He's got in-depth WordPress video tutorials. He's got an entire series devoted to how to set up WooCommerce and how to set up WooCommerce themes. So I would recommend checking this guy out. There are a lot of other WooCommerce tutorials on YouTube. Take some time to watch them. I'm not gonna get into all the details, but what I have shown you how to do is set up a simple e-commerce site that is super cheap. Your hosting is less than five bucks a month if you've signed up via my 30% off link in my description. Your theme is free. 
WooCommerce is free. With what I've shown you here, you can start selling. Obviously, you have to set up your theme in your store. But you can actually start selling via PayPal. Now, if you want to sell with a credit card, I think it's a $50 add-on through WooThemes or WooCommerce. There are a lot of other add-ons you can install through WooCommerce that will enhance the functionality of your store. Think, what, what are they first? I can't remember that. I can't remember all that stuff. We'll just try. Thank you for watching our video. Okay, you gotta, you gotta speak in a normal volume. Th thank you for watching our video today. And I can't remember. What, and, is your face not looking happy? So thank you for watching our video today. I hope you learned a lot. Please subscribe to our channel. Ready, set, go. Okay, I can't remember all that. You can just tell me it and I see it. There's only three things. Thank you for watching the video today. I Thank hope you learned a lot. Please subscribe to our channel. Ready, go. I, I can't, I can't just remember. Just try it, try I it. I can't remember that just one word. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you learned a lot. Okay, start at the beginning. Ready, go. I can't remember the first one, not the second one. Just try. Thank you for watching our video Are you being today. happy? Thank you for watching our video today. And, and I hope you learned a lot. Please subscribe to our Tan Tan channel.